Um, there are some other things that I uh, wanted to bring up to you guys that relate to this, obviously, because everything we're going to be talking about for the next few months, aside from the chapters, are this movie. And the one thing, you mentioned Gohan, right? So this is kind of important. And I'm sure this is going to get Brother Ooch to fucking... Ooh. <laughs> okay, let me just say it. <clears throat> Toriyama. Speaking of Toriyama, right? Everything... You know, it's weird how all of our shit just transitions nicely from one thing to another. I don't know. I don't plan it. I don't. I really don't. It just <laughs> happens. Okay? Let me, I'm going to keep it real. Okay? Toriyama recently had a very short interview to, of course, promote this movie. And the first thing that came out of this motherfucker's mouth. Gohan is actually stronger than anyone. Or so it said. <laughs> Go ahead, say so. Go ahead. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. Off rip. <laughs> he, said, he said. He said. Gohan is stronger than who? Oh, anyone? Oh, everybody! Everybody! <laughs> but what was his last line? He said, "Gohan so is stronger." Said. Or so. What the fuck does that mean? He's fucking with people. Or so it. Or so it said. So he, so he, he's playing tricks. He's trying to. Yeah. I, I was not falling for it though. But you're I gonna, wanted... you're gonna you're gonna tell me that you believe that? No. I don't. So here's the thing. how can this man with a job okay, here we be go. as strong <laughs> as Goku and or Vegeta? Vegeta. <laughs> this nigga got glasses on and a suit, like he's fucking accountant and shit. Like, yo, I ain't take this nigga is in the books. He is in the books. This nigga is not the strongest in the world. I'm sorry. I'm, I just gotta be real. <sighs> is that it? For now. Okay. The reason, the re, oh, Kai, you, you, you go, you go before I go off again, please. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay. So what I said was that I don't, first of all, Torian was a clown. We already know this. Okay, he's a clown. And it's not even me just, this is, he's a clown respectfully. Look at his work. Dr. Slump, Dragon Ball. Comedy. This dude writes comedy. Dragon Ball is the exception because it evolved into what it is today. Okay, he's a clown. Respectfully, I'll say that again. He is a clown. For him to say that, he knows exactly what he's fucking He knows, and that's why he's a fucking clown. And that's why the video, the thumbnail that I made, I put his fucking face in the corner like that. Because oh I wanted people to have a visual representation of the face I'm sure he made when he said that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I don't believe that for a second, but what I do believe is that at some point, way earlier in the entirety of this whole story sure he had the potential to oh, be yeah. stronger than anybody and maybe you one can argue that he was at a point uh, he, he, he probably was at a point unless well nah just keep going <laughs> just keep going <laughs> at a point he definitely was but then things changed and they lived in peace for seven years and he followed Slacked off no 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 he followed what he wanted to do there was no threats so you know unlike so he's not so again a reminder of gohan's character he is not like his father completely he is not like goku and he's most sure, certainly not like vegeta who what did, was he doing for the last seven years training Okay, there's a difference. Gohan is about that peace life. Shout out to my man Icarus. Remember Icarus? That's a filler. 
that's, that's a, I can't believe that's fucking filled. But anyway, doesn't matter. We 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 shout out and love Icarus here, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he's about that peace life. That's how it's been. And even Vegeta's like, how the fuck are you not training? Right? Remember that? And of course, you got a fucking point. But still, <laughs> but still, at some point, like this is this is this is this is how. It was always, I guess, meant to be because when, you know, like when the world is at peace and everything's all good and they ain't got nothing to worry about. Like, uh, of course, people are going to get comfortable, especially when you're not like Goku, where Goku is going to want to train regardless. Gohan's not like that. He never was. Let's not forget, Gohan was literally pushed into the position that he was in to literally defeat Cell in the first place. So, this statement is a fucking wow. It's like a, it's just, honestly, you could just take it as a wake up call. Like, that's his way of trying to draw attention a little bit more to this movie for people to really give a shit about it. Because that is a bold comment to make. Even being the creator. And that's how you know we keep it real out here. Because listen, it's like we study this guy. We know, we just know how it goes. To the point where I feel comfortable enough to call even Akira Toriyama out on his bullshit. Am I gonna believe that shit? Absolutely the fuck not. I'm not stupid. I've been, we have been, we have been <laughs> Dragon Ball scholars of our own right. We've been invested into this shit since we were kids. I didn't even know how to read and I was watching Dragon Ball Z. Are you fucking kidding? This kid wasn't even born and I was watching Dragon Ball Z. Do you understand, Brandon? Before you were born, I used to catch Dragon Ball Z before I was going to school, son. They had that shit. I knew I woke up hella early if it was on TV in the morning at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. Yeah. No kid should be waking up at that, at, that, at that early to go to fucking elementary school or whatever. But that was me. And I was, I was there. Watching Raditz lose over and over because as soon as they would make it to a point, they would start over again. And I'd have to sit there wondering. We just watched these. Then they would get to Frieza and they would reset it all over again. The struggles <laughs> before you was born. This is the shit that I grew up with. I've been studying without studying. We know what's going on. So for this guy to fucking say that shit, nah, get out. I don't care. I don't care. We got enough problems as it is. Y'all got Viz fucking translating shit the way, whatever, however the fuck they want. That shit's not gonna stop me either. You know what I'm saying? There's always, there's always gonna be some shit that we can. Uh, there's, there, there's other. Um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? There's other avenues and sources to to really make sure that things are like how they are right so yeah don't worry because there's always you know a certain character called broly that he fu that fucking exists he's gonna be the spark of the movie but 100%. gohan's stronger than anyone <laughs> or so it's said right. broly included you think that I'm going to let that shit fucking get me, son? <laughs> Do you really for a second? When I first of all, when I read that shit for the first time, I laughed. I laughed. You know, you know what's crazy? Goku can fucking fight Gohan in base form and this nigga can be in ultimate form and still get smacked, probably, to be honest. <sighs> I'm going to just say that. I mean, yeah, that, you know, th there's levels to this shit. Why are you so ignorant? 
<laughs> Why are you so ignorant? <laughs> you look at what this man has faced. And Gohan has been fucking on his fucking computer type shit, you know? Just chilling. <laughs> Listen, like, I know it's been a few arcs, but you do realize Gohan was a part of the Terminal Power, right? Um, but he was still whack. Kai, oh, I didn't even Kai. think you were gonna talk about that. I was, I was gonna slide in. Please, I was gonna slide in. Um, the whole hit thing. Don't slide. When... Just fucking dive into this kid, please. <laughs> okay, do not slide. <laughs> just, just please, please take it over. No, no. When uh, when Hit came back to do his assassination thing, and then um. Gohan and uh, Goku had their little bout. Goku went blue for like a frame <laughs> and Gohan matched his shit and then passed out. Gohan ain't that naked, man. What did Gohan do he's in the not, manga, Kai? He, he, he's really not, though. What? Oh, okay, okay, hold on a minute. That's a different Gohan. That's. that's What's his that's name? A... What's his name? Manga Gohan. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's my fucking name? Answer the question. No further comments at this time. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Fuck y'all, you talking about at this point. Oh my god. Objection. <laughs> so, what Kai's supposed to remind you about. Is you know the fusion that Goku struggled with in the anime version? You know, Kefla. You know, the girl who was fighting Goku in God and Blue and made this guy force go ultra instinct just to defeat this one. Gohan defeated by himself. <laughs> Your boy you, that wait, you, you love really, to shit on all the fucking time for no goddamn reason. That really, was Gohan. Yo. Go ahead. What? Really what? I really what? You really mm. think Goku needed to go that far to beat her? I don't believe. I I feel like Goku was toying, bruh. Cause he had Jiren. He had to fight later on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> because we're talking. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>